What is going on everyone? It's me Lone, and I'm here with some more Fallout 4 news. Yes, I have a fucking terrible lisp right now. It's just nails on a fucking chalkboard for me personally. I've got braces at the back of my teeth, and you'll be able to hear a subtle lisp for the next three months. It's gonna be fucking terrible. I hate it, I really do, but I've gotta push through, and you have my full permission to make as much fun of me as you want in the comments below, and I'll share some of those responses on Twitter as well, so we can have a laugh about it because it's fucking dreadful. It really is. So anyways, Fallout 4. The other day there was a live stream by Bethesda that was showcasing the console modding for Fallout 4 on the Xbox One in particular. And there are a few key aspects that I want to highlight to you in this video and then touch on one in particular, which if you notice by the title of this video, is the two gigabyte limit for mods on Xbox One for Fallout 4, but we will get to that. So first of all, Fallout 4 mods will be available on Xbox One next Tuesday, 31st of May. Console mods will arrive for PS4 sometime in June. As of now, Bethesda's website has 668 mods for Fallout 4, and here is the main point that I want to talk about. Bethesda noted in a live stream that Xbox One mods will initially be limited to 2 gigabytes, but this may increase over time. Now the article that I'm reading all of this information off of is in the description below, and I'll also link a GameSpot article as well that summarizes it nicely, and they put it as such. Bethesda revealed that there is a size limit for the mods you can download on Xbox One. That limit is 2 gigabytes. Mod sizes vary of course, you can delete them whenever you want as well to free up some space. So remember when I said that, modding for Fallout 4 on the consoles, such as Xbox One, and it seems to be PS4 as well, is gonna be limited in some way. This seems to be one of those ways. Now, I'm not too sure whether this is a Bethesda issue or a Microsoft issue. I'm assuming it's because of the Xbox One and the file sizes, and maybe Microsoft, whether it's a server-related issue out of their hands, whatever. It seems like something to do with the Xbox One that Bethesda has to initially limit the total size of the mods that you have for Flight 4 to just two gigabytes. Now to be clear, this does not mean that a single mod has to be below two gigabytes for it to be downloaded. What it means is that the total file size of every single mod you've downloaded for Flight 4 and Xbox One, and seemingly the PS4, the total combined file size can't be more than two gigabytes. Therefore, you can't just keep installing and installing and installing mods until you breach that two gigabyte limit. Now, of course, on PC, we don't have that issue and I guess consoles were already going to have something similar to that because you're working with very, very fixed uh, hard drive space. I believe on the Xbox One you can get external storage and I believe on the PS4 you can purchase internal storage. I'm not too sure I don't own a PS4. But regardless, you can't download more than 2 gigabytes worth of mods for Fallout 4 and Xbox One. Now what does this mean for all of you console players. It means that you can't have a shit ton of mods installed at any one time like a PC player might have. You might hear that PC players have anywhere from 50 to 100 to 150 to 200 mods installed at one time. And it's very conceivable that the total file sizes of all of those mods for just one PC player could easily exceed two gigabytes. Now, is this gonna really restrict your console modding feature for Fallout 4 on the Xbox One and on the consoles themselves? Not really, it's not gonna be that bad. There will be a few drawbacks that I'll mention now. Sometimes there are single mods that have an incredibly large file size. To give you an example, the Fallout 4 Texture Optimization Project, which is one of the most popular mods for Fallout 4 on the Nexus now, combined is about 1.5 gigs in total. Now that's just one mod. Now of course they're not all like that, but that's just to give you an example of these kinds of really, really big mods that console players probably won't be able to enjoy because you don't want to take up all of those two gigabytes with just one mod. You want to try and install as many as you can. And while it is unfortunate, most mod sizes are not that large. It is going to restrict you somewhat. I'm not going to bullshit you. The most top downloaded mod for Fallout 4 on the Nexus right now is called Armor Smith Extended. The total file size for that is about 250 megabytes. So still pretty large and it's gonna take up a chunk of that two gigabyte limit, but you could still conceivably use that mod with a bunch of other mods installed. So for example, the full dialogue interface mod, which actually sets out the subtitles 
for all speech options in the full text and not just a little paraphrase like Fallout 4 does in the vanilla game, that is 65 meg. So again, a little bit smaller, but still a really, really popular mod. Now I'm not saying that all of these mods are gonna be available on the Xbox One, because I'm not too sure out of the 668 mods, which of these mod authors are actually gonna transfer over to the consoles. I'm just giving you an idea of some of the most popular mods out there for Fallout 4 right now, and their file sizes to let you know that in the future, once a lot of these mods do come to the Xbox One, you'll be able to see what you're working with. So let's take another example. True Storms, which is one of my favorite Fallout 4 mods right now. It just completely changes the way rain looks and the way rad storms look. That's only 40 megabytes. So we're still getting smaller and smaller and smaller for these really popular mods. They're not all gonna be 500 meg. They're not all gonna be over one gig. You're gonna be able to install a good amount of these mods to at least try. Again, nowhere near the amount that PC players can do because effectively there is no limit for PC players. I'm not trying to sound like an elitist, I'm just giving you the truth. But let me give you some examples of smaller file size mods that are still really popular and really useful. For example, the Settlement Supplies Expanded mod is only 5 megs in size. The Wet Water Enhancement Textures mod by Sparrow Prince is only 12 megabytes in size. And the More Armor Slots mod by Abbott Loves You is only 37 kilobytes and that provides you with more armor slots that you can add to your character. So I guess the point that I'm trying to get across here is that console modding is not completely ruined for you just because you have a 2 gigabyte limit. It means that you're not going to be able to download huge, huge mods and expect to be able to play them with a bunch of other mods installed. It seems like if you want to go for those bigger mods, you might have to sacrifice a lot of other mods to be able to use that one big mod. But there are a lot of really popular and really useful mods out there for the PC currently that are only a small file size, so it's not that bad for you. And if you want to test all of this out for yourself and see what are the file sizes for Fallout 4 modding on the PC currently, so you console players know what you're working with, check the link in the description below. It's going to take you to the Fallout 4 Nexus. Click on the browse button at the top and on the right side, you can actually filter to the most downloaded, to the largest file size. And then you can see what the file sizes are for all of these mods and see how it's going to affect you and the two gigabyte limit. It's not the end of the world. It means that you're going to have to use a much smaller number of mods, which to be honest, is probably good for the consoles because of stability reasons. However, it does seem like this two gigabyte limit is not going to be permanent. Might increase in the future. Maybe we don't know yet. Just from this one article, it says that it might increase. So it's two gigabytes for now. Maybe that's just to test the waters to see how everything goes. And then they could conceivably increase it beyond that. So I hope this video has been informative for all of you. Again, I hope my list but wasn't too bad in this video. Until next time, this has been Lone. Please take care of yourself. And as always, keep fighting the good fight.